Only five members so are there? No, 45. Acha, okay. With, within five to ten minutes, uh, they will join. By the time we will start, they will join. <coughs> so I think we will start, sir. Uh, yes, yes, we can start. Should we start? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, am, I, am I audible and visible clearly? Whether the PPT is visible clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Are the PPT is visible clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It yes, sir. is nicely visible, sir. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, in continuation of a previous day session, uh, we will start the session uh, with uh, confirmatory factor analysis. We will start the session with confirmatory factor analysis. So yesterday I was discussing the classical theory and the item response theory. <clears throat> Please try to remember what I was saying. The classical theory was saying that some measurement happens and that measurement is the total score and the total score is equal to true score plus error. I repeat, the total score of all the items coming under a construct is equal to the true score plus error. <clears throat> that means while you are measuring some psychometric property while you are measuring some psychometric property, some error will be there. That means the indicators they are measuring, the indicators which are measuring the psychometric property are not fully capable to explain the variance of a particular factor, to explain the variance of a particular factor. So the portion of variance a particular indicator could not explain of a particular latent variable is the error. From here, we will start our journey that how we need to measure, <clears throat> how we need to measure the psychometric property. As I said repeatedly, most of the management research is socio-psychological research or socio-economic research the psychometric property need to be judged properly. Now, let us discuss something regarding the factor analysis you all have used in your MBA, MPhil, uh, PhD coursework. The general factor analysis you have adopted, this is nothing but EFA, Explorative Factor Analysis. That means you are allowing the equation you are allowing the factor analysis equation or factor equation to construct, to build the construct. The equation will build the construct here in our analysis. The software will build the construct. Try to remember, try to understand. In the factor analysis that you have adopted in your MBA or MPhil or PhD, you are allowing the equation of factor or factor equation to build the construct. That means what the equation was doing, what the equation was doing, please remember, the equation was searching for the relationship among the variables. The variables among which there is a strong relationship, a factor is built up of. Again, another set of variables has been made relationship by the equation, another factor has been built up of. Again, Another set of variables has been taken into consideration by the equation and they find, the equation find there is a strong relationship between these, uh, between these variables and uh, combining them or correlating them, 
the equation was making a factor and this was the simple procedure that the factor analysis you are doing and that is the reason it was calling us or it is called as the explorative factor analysis efa equation is allowed to correlate what is the conclusion equation was allowed or is allowed to correlate among the variables and the set of variables which are strongly correlated the set of variables which are strongly correlated by those set of variables a particular factor is constructed here we are telling it as a construct by those set of variables another strong relationship is found out another construct is build up of here these variables are we are calling as a indicators we are calling as the indicators so on this context of efa we will go to cfa confirmatory factor analysis suppose somebody has built up of a factor again i will repeat the same example that i was asked, uh, de defining yesterday suppose i am measuring the employee attitude or customers attitude whatever it may be that is a existing model of attitude you must be knowing in the consumer behavior those who are teaching marketing they must be knowing in the consumer behavior there is a tri component model of attitude the tri component model says the attitude is intertwinedly built up of by the cognitive cognitive and affective component or cognitive affective and behavioral component that means already a theory exist already a model exist already a model exist that the attitude is built up of by one construct named as cognitive attitude is made up of by another construct named as affective attitude is made up of by another construct named as cognitive which is otherwise called as behavioral also now you as the researcher want to test in your research ki whether in my research context i am doing a research suppose in the shopping mall suppose i am doing a research in the shopping mall shoppers the customers we are calling as shoppers shopping mall shoppers and their attitude suppose i am i as a researcher want to measure now i want to examine i want to do a research whether this tri component model hold good for the shopping mall customers in odisha context or not in indian context or not suppose i want to test what i will do according to the cognitive sense i will take some measurement indicators that means items which are lateral called as variables four variables related to cognitive another four five variables related to affective another four five variables related to another four five variables related to uh, behavioral i will take <coughs> simple thing i was saying some variables sorry some variables i am taking as uh, sorry some variables i am taking as uh, the indicator i am using the word indicator earlier these were all the independent variable so these are all the items in the questionnaire these are all the items and uh, here these are all the indicators so four indicators or items they are constructing the cognitive another three indicators another three indicators they are constructing the cognitive suppose another four indicators they are constructing another four indicators they are constructing suppose another five another five indicators they are constructing the affective component all the three component i want to measure so in my questionnaire what i did i have put this questions these items 4 3 7 5 uh, 12 questions in my questionnaire i have put and i have asked i have collected the data that means i have measured so that means i have measured the uh, cognitive component cognitive component and affective component i have measured the cognitive component cognitive component and affective component i have measured now i will test this model whether it is hold good or not that means an existing theory is there i want to confirm that theory an existing model is there i want to confirm that model what is happening in your research 
what is happening in your research you are doing the literature review from various literature you are finding some theory else a new model you are proposing by getting the linkages of the model suppose any 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 linkages so these are all the linkages uh, this linkages you are getting from a particular literature from particular article this is another linkages you got from another article this is another linkages you got from another article you know this is another linkages you got from uh, another article what you did you have proposed based upon the outcome of all these articles based upon the outcome of all the articles you are proposing that this leads to this plus this leads to this as a whole these three leads to this suppose you are uh, uh, proposing a model now all the linkages you got this linkages you got from the literature this linkages you got from the literature this linkages you got from the literature also and you are proposing a model you are revising the model and your model you want to you want to test here also it can be called as a confirmatory factor analysis here also it can be called as a confirmatory factor analysis i hope i hope you are understanding here also it can be called as a confirmatory factor analysis so what is confirmatory factor analysis confirmatory factor analysis as we have already discussed is a multivariate statistical procedure is a multivariate statistical procedure that measures how well the variables yani ki indicators or earlier we are understanding it as, as as independent variables the indicators or estimators how these are constructing one construct how these are representing one construct the word representing is better applicable here because we are discussing reflective measurement do not worry in the next classes we are discussing uh the the reflective and formative so that means confirmatory factor analysis is a type of structural equation model that deals with specifically with measurement models that means you are measuring you are measuring a particular construct having three four or multiple indicator again you are measuring another construct having multiple indicators you are measuring another construct having multiple indicators based upon the objective or hypothesis of your research then based upon the hypothesis of your research you are trying to connect these three construct in my example i am saying you are measuring one construct sorry you are measuring one construct having four five variables or indicators you are measuring another construct having another three five vari vari variables or indicators you are measuring another construct having seven eight variables or indicators now according to your hypothesis you want to connect the construct one to construct two or construct two to construct three or construct three to construct one according to your hypothesis you want to connect and you want to test that means once you measure the construct then only you can go for structural equation modeling that is the reason the moment you are measuring a construct measuring a construct means really x1 x2 x3 are coming under construct a or no x4 x5 x6 x7 are really coming under the construct b or not x9 x10 x11 x12 are really coming under the construct uh, c or not if they are coming under construct c construct b and construct a then how strongly they are describing the construct a b and c respectively how strongly x1 x2 x3 are reflecting the property of construct a how strongly the x4 x5 x6 x7 are reflecting the construct c how strongly the x9 x10 x11 x12 x13 are reflecting the construct c first question is are they really explaining if answer yes how strongly they are explaining that means by default the researcher is assuming that there is a strong correlation between x1 x2 x3 what is that basis of correlation the basis of correlation yesterday i said that is the latent property where from that latent property is reflected that latent property is reflected from the construct under which x1 x2 x3 are coming 
I hope you are understanding. Thus, CFA talks about how well observed data of a researcher, of the researcher, is fitting to the hypothesized or theoretical relationship of variables. I hope you are understanding. From the tri-component model, you are measuring the cognitive, cognitive, and affective. The cognitive, cognitive, and affective for you, the theoretical construct. And this theoretical construct you are measuring. Cognitive component you have measured by three variables. Here it is the indicator. Cognitive component you are measuring by four variables. These four variables are the indicators. Affective component you measured by another five variables. Then the measurement data. What is that measurement data in the form of sample you are getting in your research? Measurement data you are uh, getting and you are putting that measurement data to the conformatory factor analysis. The conformatory factor analysis equation will tell you really the model you have specified. How you have specified? Ki x1, x2, x3 is coming under uh, A. You have specified that x2, x3, x4 x5 is coming under B, you have specified that. Are they really conforming your specification? Later on, I will tell you specification and identification. You are specifying X1, X2, X3 is coming under A. Now, conformatory factor analysis equation you will tell you really in Odisha context, in shopping mall or in Indian context of shopping mall, X1, X2, X3 are coming under A or cognitive component. The CFA equation will tell you. The CFA equation for us, who is calculating? Amos is calculating. The CFA equation for us, Amos is calculating and will tell you the variables you have specified, researcher have specified under a construct. Is it really coming? Whether these three variables are really coming? If yes, then how strongly they are coming under a construct A or a construct, uh, construct your cognition in our example. I, I hope I hope you are you are clear till now. Now the EFA and CFA will clarify you both. See uh, the, uh, the the little bit thing that might be ignored or that might be very much confusing to you or some confusion is there. While I will I will uh, explain through Amos, you will be clarified. Do not worry. See, look at here exploratory factor analysis. As I said earlier, what was happening? You are collecting the data. You are giving the freedom to the equation. Oh, equation, please build some construct. I have collected 25, uh, 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 25 items. I have measured the 25 items, having 300 or 400 sample size. I am directing the equation. I am directing the equation through, S, uh, through SPSS. Keep please build the factors. What the equation of SPSS is doing, they are correlating the, the, the variables. Those variables which are correlated strongly, the equation is forming a particular factor. The equation is forming in case of EFA, conformity, uh, sorry, EFA, exploratory factor analysis. But in the CFA, what I am doing? In the CFA, I am specifying X1 will come under A, X2 will come under A, X3 will come under A, but X4 will come under B, up to X7 will come under B, X8 will come under C. I am specified from very beginning. Then I am uh, uh, indicating the equation. Then I am advising the equation, please confirm me. The specification I have made, whether it is correct or not. On which basis I have specified? On the basis of literature. So that is the reason the CFA, the CFA is the theory to data. Look at here. The CFA is the theory to data. Here in our research literature, we are collecting, we are, we are, we are uh, reviewing the literature. On the basis of literature, I am building a theoretical model. I am building a theory. I am building a theoretical model. Then I am testing through data. Then only I am collecting the data. But in case of uh, in case of EFA, what is happening? I am collecting the data first. Then freely, freely the data are correlated. The variables are correlated. The equation given me the construct. Not that I have I have built the construct. Then please remember those who have adopted factor analysis in their MBA or MPIL. Then what they are doing? They are naming the factor. 
they are naming the factor but in case of cfa what you have done from very beginning you have named the factor without testing even how you have named the factor based upon literature so this is the reason most of the time we the guides are explaining our scholars ki literature review extensive literature review is must before uh, uh, structural equation modeling or confirmatory factor analysis substantial theory must be there substantial evidence must be there before specifying a model so the substantial theory substantial literature review will help you to identify the model it will help you identify the factors will help you identify the items once you identify the items you will specify which item will come under which factor i will later on say you kis identification and specification these two term you please remember in uh, structural equation modeling and cfp you have to identify the variable or item you have to identify the construct then you have to specify the relationship between variable and construct how you will identify how you will specify literature answer is literature so popularly it is called as theory then based upon the theory i am collecting the data but here first you collect the data then the equation through software it will be correlated although it was happening manually then the variable which are coming under a particular factor by equation equation mere ko batayega the equation will tell me the equation will tell me these are all the variables which are coming under factor a these are all the variables which are coming under factor b then i am naming the factor analysis you have adopted in your mba mphil and other courses till now what was happening then you are naming that factor but here from very beginning you have named it based upon literature so that is the reason in efa factors are determined by a pattern of loading look at here by a pattern of loading what was happening in the efa factor analysis please remember so these are all the loading factor loading and these are all the uh, variables these variables are loaded heavily in this factor then second factor please remember the rotated component matrix those who have done efa please don't the please remember the rotated component matrix so these are all the four variables these are all the four variables heavily loaded on factor 2 now these are all the five variables these are all the five variables these are all the five variables heavily loaded on the factor 3 please remember please recall the factor analysis rotated component matrix please recall the factor analysis efa explorative factor analysis generally you are saying factor analysis but that is explorative factor analysis the explorative factor analysis rotated component matrix please remember and this was the pattern you will find so what is happening in the factor 1 uh, in the rotated component matrix here it will be 1 here it will be 2 here it will be 3 yani ki factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 these three variables are heavily loaded on factor 1 based upon the property of these three variable you are naming the factor 1 you are giving a name to the factor 1 based upon the property of these four variables you are naming the factor 2 you are giving a name to the factor 2 because these four variables are heavily loaded on factor 2 but in the cfa confirmatory factor analysis what is happening you are specifying from very beginning ki these are all the variables i am specifying that this will come under construct a o equation tell me whether it is correct or not i am confirming and this relationship i got from literature these are all the four variables here it is the indicators coming under the factor b or here we are calling popularly as a construct b construct b or factor b i am uh, uh, advising i am requesting the uh, equation through amo software tell me whether really these four variables are coming under uh, construct b or not so confirmatory so i am having a theory or concept or model which i got from extensive literature review then i am confirming that by collecting data yani ki measuring those items or measuring those variables by collecting data means by measuring those variables i hope you are understanding the 
difference between uh, EFA and CAP. So in the EFA, what was happening? Any any factor more than uh, eigenvalue one, you are describing, you are specifying there. Please recall the SPSS analysis. You are recalling. Please recall the SPSS analysis. Uh, eigenvalue one, you are saying. So more than one eigenvalue, they are loaded upon one factor, second factor, third factor. But in the CFA, nothing you are doing. Simply you are specifying from very beginning, and you are uh, advising or you are requesting the equation through through the AMOS. He tell me it is confirmed or not. What the equation is doing? Equation is making a correlation among these. If correlation among these is very strong and they are reflected by this construct equation will tell you that this specification model or your model is confirmed. Again, equation, what the equation will do, statistical equation, equation will make a correlation among these. Yesterday I said, here the correlation means covariance, yani ki variance of X4. Variance of X4 is simultaneously increasing or decreasing with X5, with X6, with X7. Variance of X5 is simultaneously increasing or decreasing with X4, X6, X7. This is what called as covariance. Whenever the covariance is understood, sorry, whenever the correlation is understood on the basis of standardized correlation, simply we are calling it as a covariance. That is the reason we are calling uh, the AMOS way of calculating CFA or SCM is a covariance based SCM. The equation will calculate the covariance among these. If the covariance is strong, yani ki standardized correlation is strong, equation will tell you, yes, your model is confirmed. And this is the reason this is popularly called as measurement model. This measurement model is tested by CFA technique. Please try to understand. In this uh, type, you will write in your uh, thesis or your article. This measurement model is tested, is measured by CFA technique. Directly do not write CFA. Is measured by CFA technique and confirmed. Yes, this measurement model is confirmed. I'm not going to ACM now because there is another session for the ACM. Just understand what is CFA first. Then why researcher do you need the CFA? I have already explained in my explanation. To test empirically a theory or model, to test empirically a theory or model, a theory or model is already exist or a concept is existing. Suppose uh, the, the <clears throat> concept I was saying, Maslow's need hierarchy theory. Maslow's concept is saying the human being needs are hierarchically error from lower level need to higher level need. Once the lower level need is satisfied, this is no more a motivator. The human being go for higher order need. This concept you want to test. What you are doing? These six levels of need you want to measure first. This six level of uh, uh, need you want to measure. Psychometrically you have to measure. So physiological need, you are measuring by three, four uh, variables. Safety need, you are measuring by two, three variables. Uh, social need, you are measuring another four, five variables. Esteem need, you are measuring an by another seven, eight variables. Self-actualization need, you are measuring by another 10 variables. Then you are testing. The concept I want to test, please confirm. I am asking the equation, please confirm the concept is confirmed or not. Now the equation will be confirming, will be, will be, will, will confirm me. I hope you are clear. So theory is tested. That means theory is operationalized. More often you might be uh, confronting to your students in your classroom. Sir, kya hai ye book ka padhai, classroom ka padhai, kuch industry mein aata nahi. The, the, the thought of the book, the theory of the book is no way utilized is no way applicable in the practical aspects or in the industry. Here is the link you can tell your students, please measure. Then only you can identify which is more important, which is lesser important, which is having more priority, which is having less priority. So the theory is operationalized if you want, if you can measure that. So the CFA will help you to measure. So the CFA is helping you to test whether the data is fitting to the estimated model or not. If a set of data, if a set of data, the data means you have measured 
then only you have collected the data. If a set of data is fit to the model, then you can confirm that this model can be generalized. Plus, try to understand generalized. In the shopping mall context in Odisha, I have I have found out, and reliability and validity is high. I am saying to the future researcher that you can test the same model with the same items in Andhra, in Bihar, in other country also, in other similar country. Suppose uh, uh, your uh, South Asian countries. I am saying I have measured the cognitive component by four component, uh, cognitive component by five variables or items, affective component by ten items, and I am showing that the reliability validity is high. Anybody, any future researcher can operationalize it. And I am giving the guarantee up to this percent that this result will hold good in their country or in their state also. What does it mean? That means I am analyzing a model. First, I have tested the theory or model. Then I am generalizing the model to a greater population. Because I have collected the data, I have estimated the data, sorry, I have estimated the model, means I have collected the data from a particular sample, by having a particular sample. Now I am saying, my research is saying me, the model is sufficiently justified, highly reliable, validity is high, so the model can be generalized to a greater population. Please test, I am saying the future researcher, please test this in your context. So this can be happen in the CAP. And the uh, final thing, once you measure, you can make a structural relationship. What is the structural relationship? I was saying, suppose attitude is one, uh, attitude is one construct. I'm saying attitude is influencing the satisfaction. Satisfaction is influencing the performance. And in some cases, Attitude is also influencing the performance. Suppose I'm saying, now this is a structural model. Once you measure attitude, once you measure attitude, once you measure attitude and measure the satisfaction and measure the satisfaction, once you measure the attitude and measure the satisfaction, then only you will be able to say whether really the attitude is influencing satisfaction or not whether really satisfaction is influencing the performance or not, and simultaneously attitude is influencing the performance or not. So this is the structural relationship. That means once if you measure, if you can measure by measurement model, that is CFA, if you can measure by CFA, Yaniki, you are confirming the model measurement model by CFA. You are confirming this measurement model by another CFA two set of CFA you are measuring these two model, then you are coming to the structural model, which we will discuss in, which we will discuss in SCM in the coming sessions. So you can come to this structural relationship, which we will test by structural equation modeling. You can come to the structural relationship once you adopt the CFA. So this is the greatest advantage of CFA. Otherwise, it is very difficult to come to the structural relationship. So this attitude is having a direct relationship with satisfaction, is having an indirect relationship with satisfaction through the mediation of uh, your, sorry, attitude is having an indirect relationship with the performance through the mediation of satisfaction. Do not worry, this mediation moderation will be discussed by another teacher in your last two, three sessions. Do not worry. Just I am giving a hint ki how the structural model operate. Just I'm giving a hint how the structural model operate. So this, uh, the, the attitude is having a direct impact on satisfaction, having an indirect impact on performance, again having a direct impact on performance. So you can come to this structural relationship only when you will measure this measurement model. How you will measure this measurement model? By CFA. I hope you understand Tila. <coughs> understand Tila? Anybody, anybody can please respond? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Till now? Uh. Anybody please respond? Understand till now? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any, any doubt? Any doubt till now? 
very clear very clear very absolutely very fine any any doubt till now no okay so these are all some uh, in, so these are all yes, some sir. important terms no doubt sir so here uh, yes you are some somebody saying something okay so <clears throat> please remember yesterday i said exogenous variables and endogenous variable now i am saying endogenous construct and exogenous construct what is this endogenous construct it is a multi item equivalent to dependent variable and what the endogenous construct is representing it is representing a variate please understand the word variate variate of dependent variable this means level at which pattern at which degree at which dependent variable vary the pattern by which dependent variable will vary will reflected by exogenous sorry endogenous construct so i was just saying this is what attitude this is what satisfaction this is what performance and attitude is measured by three uh, indicator performance is measured by five indicator suppose that means this is the endogenous variable which is measured by multi items and the pattern by which it is varying the items are varying this latent variable here it is called as endogenous construct or construct it is also a construct it is also a construct so these three are construct here it is a endogenous construct which is represented by a variate of dependent variable this the variate of the dependent variable is represented by this three items or indicators in the scm or cfa we are saying indicators these are all the indicators try to remember that means in the structural equation modeling from very beginning i am saying it will be covered later on do not worry that means in structural equation modeling one endogenous construct can lead to another endogenous construct can lead to another endogenous construct now coming to the exogenous construct you will be you will be clarified very much the exogenous construct again it is also latent multi item uh, equivalent to independent variable latent multi item it is equivalent to independent variable now look at here they are construct determined by factors outside the model what is the meaning of outside the model that means we are measuring the exogenous variable construct by outside the model means these items we are not having in the these items we are not having in the model simply you found out from the theory ki the attitude can be measured by three component cognitive cognitive affective but you didn't know what are the real uh, variables under the cognitive suppose you have prepared that that was not there in the theory or model now by that you have measured by that you have measured by those variables or indicators you have formed for your research you have formed by discussing with expert you have formed from ancient literature you are measuring that means outside outside does not mean outside your measurement outside means outside the model not outside the measurement it is very much within the measurement do not worry so in this relationship we can say something is exogenous indicate uh, by construct and something is endogenous but as a whole the structural model if you consider all these are endogenous because they are measured by some exogenous variables these are all the the variables you are measuring is are exogenous yesterday i was saying variable now i am saying construct try to remember do not confuse so these are all construct i am talking about this construct only circles variables are squares or items are squares or rectangles construct i am saying construct so the endogenous construct and exogenous construct can be classified into endogenous exogenous also so while i'll i'll, I'll play your uh, use the amos it will be more clarified do not worry other thing i have already clarified yesterday it is a confirmatory analysis there is a there is a role of theory or model i have already said no need to waste the time again now coming to the reliability i have already said yesterday ki the degree at which the variables in the questionnaire these are items the degree at which the variables in the questionnaire these are called as items in the cfa these are called as indicators the degree at which there is a internal consistency between the variables or indicators is reflected by reliability which you are testing by cronbach alpha 
And the Crown bio, Crown back alpha is based upon split half test. Is based upon mostly split half test. What is that split half test? I have said yesterday. That means the more the experiment will do every time over the time period, your variance or your standard deviation or your correlation among the variables will more or less same. So that is what is called as internal consistency, reliability. So just I was saying uh, uh, identification, you are identifying which variable will come under which construct. So by that way, there are three chances. One is under identified, one is over identified, and exact identified what we expect. Exact identified what we expect. That means, suppose these three construct, these three items or indicators, these three items or indicators is measuring cognitive. And these four indicators is measuring cognitive. Suppose, suppose these three four in these four indicators are measuring the cognitive. The quantity. So the amount. Okay, uh, I have already said yesterday. So this is what error term. What is that error term? Error term is nothing but the amount of variance. Nothing but the amount of variance. Nothing but if anybody is saying, if anybody is saying, can you please mute your voice? If anybody is saying, can you please mute your voice? If anybody is saying, can you please mute your voice? Okay. So yesterday I was saying, please remember, this is what the error term. What is this error term? The error term is nothing but the amount of variance this particular indicator could not explain of this latent variable or of this construct or of this factor. The amount of variance this particular variable or indicator or item could not explain. Suppose it has explained 70% variance of this factor or this latent variable, the rest 30% is the error. Suppose this uh, item has explained 80%, 80% of this factor. I'm sorry, please mute, somebody is unmuted. I'm sorry, please mute, somebody is unmuted. My request to the organizer, please mute. My request to the organizer, please mute. My request to the organizer, please mute and if anybody any difference. Should I proceed if anybody can answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Still, there is a equal thing. I think, sir, from it is from your end. Now it is okay? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So now, <clears throat> what I was saying, uh, ki, I'm sorry. What I was saying, so the amount of variance, the amount of variance, the amount of variance this uh, indicator could not explain of this latent variable or factor is nothing but error. So if as a whole, this uh, indicator, this indicator, they are also giving rise to some error. Yesterday I was saying error term, please remember. The amount of variance this particular uh, term, or the, sorry, the amount of variance this particular indicator could not explain from this uh, latent variable is nothing but error E2. What is E3? The amount of variance this indicator could not explain of this uh, latent variable is the E3. Suppose it is explaining 0.7, that means 70% amount of 70% uh, variance it has been explained of this indicator, uh, sorry, of this construct. 0.8, 80% variance has been explained by this indicator of this latent variable. Suppose 0.9 has been explained by this indicator of this construct. Now, suppose a situation will arise 
कि दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉइंट वन दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉइंट वन दिस इज पॉइंट वन वन सॉरी यस दिस इज वन पॉइंट जीरो दिस इज पॉइंट नाइन नाइन दिस इज वन पॉइंट टू दैट मीन्स मोर देन हंड्रेड परसेंट कैन इट पॉसिबल इज इट पॉसिबल ए सिंगल इंडिकेटर विल एक्सप्लेन ए पर्टिकुलर कंस्ट्रक्ट मोर देन हंड्रेड परसेंट somewhere your measurement error is exaggerated somewhere your instrument of data collection is faulty somewhere your your you, the by the, the process by which you have collected the data is uh, acquiring some error so that is what called over identified that is what called over identified suppose what you do it is not advisable to take more variables under one construct in amos in pls scm it may happen but in amos if you take 50 uh, 50 more than 45 variables it will create a problem i will say later on wow how so suppose you have taken uh, near about to 12 14 or 15 uh, uh, indicator under a single construct suppose you are taking uh, 12 or 15 uh, such like uh, uh, such like indicators under one construct they are also there is a probability of over identified because as much as you have taken which is not necessary to measure or which is having very little relevance to measure a particular suppose for the sake of measuring cognitive cognitive cognition means knowledge suppose for the sake of measuring the cognition you are saying do you think that you are not forgetting monday you are forgetting something in tuesday are what is this forgetting means forgetting not forgetting means not forgetting you are asking a question regarding forgetting again you are asking a question forgetting on monday again you are asking a question forgetting regarding holiday that means it is a over identification so forgetting means forgetting you are forgetting a brand bus forgetting in monday forgetting in not forgetting in holiday uh, that means what is happening some least relevant Uh, items you have chosen and you have specified on your construct so this is another reason of over identification so whatever it may be these are all the role of error what is this error look at here in general in general some common variance is explained who are that she look at this this four or three they are in common they are explaining some variance of this construct specifically this x1 is explaining something this is what specifically rest is error rest is error i hope you are clear now i hope you are clear now is that right clear anybody can answer yes yes sir yes sir okay. sir sir i have a question uh, uh, sir in uh, the standard case uh, what is the probability of having over identified uh, uh, you know Uh, the items because these uh, if you really take the standardized test or standardized uh, variable then uh, it's already tested and it is uh, you know uh, it's a reliable so uh, variable so over identified uh, items can be there what is the probability of that uh -huh. i'm saying see <clears throat> most of the time the scholars become crazy suppose if you if you Uh, collect the consumer attitude scale you will get enormous scale sometime what the scholars do they have taken four items of one scale are taking another two items of another scale as a result redundancy is happening they are thinking that these are important variable but in reality in the psychology of consumer these are not important variable or important to be measured in your context suppose in my context i am shopping shopping mall or consumer attitude may not be that much of important for the consumers of odisha in the shopping mall in the odisha may not be that much of important so in that case what the risk scholar should do after identifying the scale those who have already been developed by other researcher they need to discuss with some experts again they need to cross verify this particular scale has been ident has been adopted by so many other how many other researchers suppose i will say uh, you might be listening in the hr uh, tv rao and udha parikh has developed enormous scale for the hrd yes sir and this has already been adopted by so many scholars now you search 
suppose you are you are uh, adopting the scale for the steel industry now you search how many of further scholars have used the scale for the scale steel industry only then you collect or you identify or you take those items which has been adopted in the steel industry only being crazy you have taken so many other items which are adopted in other uh, industry sir in other case if the uh, if uh, the scholar is taking the full fledged one uh, single scale from one exact maybe uh, any scale which is uh, one shot you know uh, one variable got, with i got your point same author same author got your point got your point then sir uh, then another second option i told somehow the administration of questioner was wrong okay. suppose suppose it is a questioner so you should give completely free hand to the respondent to answer suppose yes, the researcher yes. is suppose the researcher is intervening in between do not you think this do not you think would you like to say this do not you think uh, if you go on saying he will put a tick mark on 555 everywhere <laughs> he will go on putting the he will go he will go on putting the tick mark in 4545 4545 <laughs> so not, why, that is that is a case when uh, we are collecting offline but nowadays no. uh, it's the collection is most of the time it is online i mean we uh, no, float the, the google I'm form saying, i'm saying the, i am saying the probability this is second okay. probability okay the okay. second probability what is the third probability most of the time see all the positively aspects you are keeping in a bunch suppose for example suppose for example i i'm saying my ex example i am doing one of my research in shopping mall uh, for their purchase intention so suppose i will say uh, you visit in the uh, holidays i visit in the holiday for the grocery item then again next question i'm saying i also visit uh, 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 this shopping mall for the uh, dress materials in the next item in the next item i am asking i also i would like to visit this shopping mall for the food cares are if you ask conjugatively all the things which are supposed to be answered by uh, positively then obviously mm -hmm. the respondent will be biased and will put the tick mark 5 5 5 4 4 4 uh, mm -hmm. had it been had it been online or offline so okay. while while you are preparing the uh, data collection instrument even if you are directly adopting a particular scale please make a reshuffle please make a reshuffle again this requires a extensive discussion with the expert or your guide please make a reshuffle based upon your context your situation no sir but the standard scales can be reshuffled with the same questions huh question cannot be changed but position can be changed okay Are question okay. number question number 1 you may ask in question number 5 what is the wrong okay. with it okay okay sir fine are you getting my point mm -hmm. okay. okay okay thank you thank, thank you. you sir so <clears throat> this is the assumption what is the assumption there must not be there must not be a covariance look at here covariance must be zero what is that latent variable is not correlated to the measurement error what is that look at here this is the latent variable and this is the indicators these are all the indicators these are all the indicators and this is what the error i told yesterday so what i said the error what i said the error the amount of variance the particular item could not explain of the latent variable so the amount of variance could not explain so how could you expect this is related to this so it is assumed that the error term is not related to or not covariate with latent variable so this is what then next assumption the expected value of random measurement error are equal to zero that means all the measurement errors all the measurement errors are equal to zero randomly distributed randomly if a particular measurement error is heavily loaded on this that means this particular variable or item has been biased while you are collecting the data just i am saying something is completely negatively portrayed ki a shopping mall in this shopping mall everything is good but uh, the, the customers uh, the, the uh, that there, there are very less number of people to explain the merchandise so i am a person who expect the help from help from sales employee within the shopping mall i do not visit at all because i do not like this is my personal biasness anything you ask related to that i will say 111 i will never say 45 uh, are you getting my point 
So that is the reason in order to avoid this, your administration of questionnaire needs a careful, uh, very, very carefulness. So anyway, whatever it may be, the error variables need to be randomly distributed so that it will be equal to zero. Then multivariate normality, yesterday I was saying, whatever normality you are testing in your test, any normality that is univariate or bivariate, but here multivariate normality requires. What is that multivariate normality requires? Again, this is related to error. This normal, normal distribution of this variable, this variable, this variable, this variable, along with their error, simultaneously with their error. There are so many techniques of testing the multivariate normality, but I'm go, not going to that technique because, because of shortage of time. But anyhow, the data is assumed to be normally distributed. What is this normal distribution? Multivariate normal distribution. And obviously the most important is linearity. Because see, look at here, everything is linearly related. Everything is linearly related. There is no chance of testing for the CFA or structural equation if a relation is non-linear. Not at all. CFA and SCM cannot be applicable if a relationship between two constructs or two variables is non-linear. There is no chance at all. So these are all some simple assumptions. So many other assumptions are there. Only important assumptions I have already told. Normality, you know from very big beginning, any parametric test requires normality. Here also normality, but the only thing is a multivariate normality, not bivariate normality. Linearity, you know very well, while you are adopting the multiple linear regression, most of you have adopted in your MBA career also. And here the specific thing is, the error term must not be related to, the measurement error must not be related to latent variable. Simple, nothing else. These are all assumptions. That means these assumptions must not violate. These assumptions must hold good. These assumptions must not violate at all. Some other three, four assumptions are there, but these four assumptions are very important. In no condition, these assumptions, these assumptions must not violate. Whereas the other SEM, PLS SEM, which uh, people generally do by smart PLS software, they are the assumption compromise you can do. Some of the assumptions can be compromised or most of the assumptions are also compromised in PLS SEM. So that is the reason most of the articles in the famous uh, journals, they ask for the uh, uh, covariance based SCM because it is strict assumption is followed by here, followed here. I hope you are clear. As I said, you need to go for uh, the specification, model specification. You have to specify the model, key, which variable is coming under which construct, which variable, which construct is related to which another construct likewise then model identification that means look at here a model is identified when the sample variance and covariance include enough information try to remember what i said yesterday so this one is that the input matrix input correlation matrix this was input correlation matrix x1 x2 x3 x4 suppose x5 these vari five variables are there in your questionnaire so this is what input correlation matrix, please recall yesterday's explanation. This is what input correlation matrix. So these are all one and these are all the mirror image of both of the side. And these are all the correlation. This is the input correlation matrix. And these values must be sufficient enough. Suppose these values are 0 0.1, 0 0.12, 0 0.23, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.35. Then the information is not enough. That means, the researcher's measurement could not collect enough information by some reason. The researcher's measurement could not collect information, enough information. Hence, model cannot be identified. Model cannot be identified. Identified means the AMOS will say you model is not identified. Model cannot be identified at all. So the same thing under identified, under identified means, uh, suppose, you collect the information, but 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.54, 0 0.56, uh, 0.45, none of the values are going beyond the 0.6 or 0.7. So it is under identified. Less variance or covariance than unknown free parameters. So these are all unknown Excuse free me, parameters. Sir. Uh, yes, Excuse yes. me, sir. What, what is this DF, sir? BF? DF. 
degree of freedom degree of freedom sorry okay, degree okay, of freedom okay, okay. so mathematically it is explained if the degree of freedom is less than 0 then it is under identified if the degree of freedom is exactly to 0 this is just identified if the degree of freedom is more than 0 then it is over identified it will be explained while i will show you the measurement values in the amos do not worry it will show you the measurement values uh, through amos operation do not worry so parameters in the model i have already explained this no need to explain because uh, time is less i need to make a hands on practice i should give more and more time for the hands on practice so that is the reason uh, i am i am um, somehow omitting something then uh, for this there is a separate session goodness of it do not worry i think uh, next the session is goodness of it and these are all the range of goodness of it and later on i will come to the second order cfa do not worry so please have the patience and uh, open your amos acha have you supplied with the organizer by a data file all of you all of you yes, all of you yes, have sir. supplied yes, sir. data file yes sir yes, yes sir we have okay open that spss data file open a single uh, open a particular amos graphic uh, uh, canvas please open this i am coming to my desktop in order to carry out sir excuse me sir can i uh, yes. can we have two minutes break sir two minutes can we have two yes sir uh, okay 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 but exactly two minutes right like now it is uh, six six okay sir so we will come back by 6 9 okay sir okay okay, okay. Sir. so all of you please open that data file and open a amos graphic canvas so that be ready with that and slowly i will operate you will operate along with me all of you are okay all of you are okay yes okay, yes sir yes sir okay, yes, sir. okay. okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
I think, sir, we can start. <coughs> can anybody answer, am I audible or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're audible, audible, sir. sir. Is there anybody answer? Can anybody answer? Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. sir. Audible, audible, sir. Audible, sir. Am I audible? Can anybody answer? Say you are audible. So should you resume? Yes, sir. Can you hear yes. us, sir? Should we resume? Yes, yes sir. Sir. Uh, sir. Can you hear us, sir? Or should we resume? Yes, sir. We, sir, you are audible, but I think you, we are not audible to you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Close this. <clears throat> but your voice is not uh, clear audible to me yeah, sir. But oh, we can sorry. hear you, sir. Uh, sir so I think resume? you can you can continue. Yes, uh -huh. sir. You can continue, sir. Okay. So <clears throat> let us uh, again welcome to all of you after a short break. Uh, please attention. Can I have the kind attention of all of you? Please have the kind attention because from now onwards you will practice. You will make a hands-on practice. You will make a hands-on practice right from now. So let me share my screen. So somehow, huh? So screen is shared. Uh, are you are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Sir. <laughs> Please, in between, you answer something. Otherwise, I am thinking that the the connection has been uh, okay. disconnected. Okay, disconnected. Okay, uh, okay, so <clears throat> uh, the moment you will open this Amos graphics, uh, it will by default open is a, in, a, in a portrait manner. So for the sake of beginners, if you can convert it into the landscape, in order to convert into landscape, please look at the my operation. Please go to the view. Please all of you go to the view. La okay, let me let me make it. Uh, uh, let me make it. Uh, please go to the view. Uh, yes, please go to the view. Uh, go to the uh, interface property. Please go to the interface property and go to the page layout. Here you need to select in which manner you need to do. By default, it will be common as uh, the portrait. But the, for the sake of uh, beginners, if you can make it landscape, it will be good. So please specify landscape A4. All of you are with me? All of yes, you are sir. with me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. So please make it landscape A4, which is uh, very much convenient for the beginners. So done that? Done yes, that, sir. all of yes, you? Yes, sir. Done. Okay. So now please open your SPSS data file, which has been supplied by you, and I have supplied. It is one of my data file of uh, one of the data file of my scholar. So what his research work is, what his research work is, his research work uh, is related to buyer-seller interaction. Please, please uh, have a attention. 
I am saying a brief, two, three minutes brief, so that uh, you can operate easily. His research work is buyer-seller interaction, the effectiveness of buyer-seller interaction, and its effect on selling performance, which ultimately influence the corporate reputation. As a whole, the corporate reputation will influence. As a whole, the corporate reputation will influence the retention of sales employee. Let me open a. Uh, uh, please give me one minute, one second. Let me open so that I can draw. Otherwise. Okay, let me open this. Already open, no? Okay, ha. Huh. Uh, PPT is visible? <coughs> yes, PPT sir, visible. visible. Okay. See, <coughs> huh. so his uh, research work is related to the uh, his research work is related to the uh, buyer seller interaction. The buyer seller interaction is one const uh, construct. The buyer seller interaction is influencing the sales employee's performance. Employee's sales performance, only he's focusing on selling performance. And uh, the employee's selling performance, suppose this should, be, this should be circle. I'm sorry, this should be circle because these are all latent variables. So the employee sales performance is influencing the uh, corporate reputation and the corporate reputation is influencing the corporate reputation is influencing the retention of sales employee. Again, buyer seller interaction is directly influencing the uh, retention of sales employee and uh, the, the performance is also directly influencing the retention of sales employee. So this study he has made in the banking industry of Odisha. So this is what his proposed model. This proposed model he has proposed based upon extensive literature review. What we have done, we have measured the buyer-seller interaction, how the buyer-seller interaction can be effective. We have measured this by certain number of variables. We have measured the selling performance by certain number of variables, which are popularly called as indicator. We have measured the corporate reputation by certain number of variables. We have measured the uh, employee retention by certain number of variables. But this much I wanted to explain you. Then please, then please look at here. Then please look at here. So look at the uh, data file. Please, all of you look at the data file. Data file is visible. Data file yes, is visible. Ah, okay. So the BSI refers to buyer-seller interaction. Look at here. BSI refers to buyer-seller interaction. The BSI refers to buyer-seller interaction. All the BSI are referred to buyer-seller interaction. So how many variables are there? Yani ki how many indicators are there under buyer-seller interaction? 22 indicators are there to measure the buyer-seller interaction. <coughs> So then uh, performance of sales employee. This PSE refers to sales employee performance. Yani ki performance of sales employee. So look at here how many indicators or variables are there that measure the performance of sales employee. Performance of sales employee has been measured 15. By, 15, by 15 indicators or variables. Then uh, this is what uh, sales employee retention, SER. Sales employee retention. Sales employee retention has been measured by Sales supply retention has been measured by, look at here, how many? Uh, one, five. two, three, four, five, six. 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 Uh, then corporate reputation has been measured by four indicators or four variables. Then some of the demographic variables are there. Do not look at there. Do not look at those right now. Our duty is to discuss on this. I hope the data file is clear. I hope the data file is clear, all of you. Data yes, file is sir. Clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now we will prepare the construct. We will prepare the construct. Let me see the construct exactly what has been made. Accordingly, I will prepare here. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, I am preparing one construct or one latent variable. Another latent variable. Uh, let me see how many are there. Okay, 
So suppose I will I will I will save it first. Otherwise, it is creating a problem. Uh, is being workshop. I'll save it so that it will not go anywhere. Save it. <clears throat> the the things you will prepare if you not save and you will switch somewhere else, then there will be a problem. So what has happened? Okay. Ha. Let me uh, under one five under one five four four four. Okay. So let me go to a new file. And let me again view property for the convenience. Let me change to the landscape. Okay. <clears throat> so under one construct under one construct there are five variables or five indicator one two three four five under another construct under another construct there are four variables or four indicators one two three four now what i will do now what i will do i will replicate because Another four uh, constructs are there. Sorry, another three constructs are there, which are having the same number of indicators, which are having the same number of indicators, like four each. So what I will do, I will make select entire uh, measurement model or entire construct. I will select so that I can take it anywhere. So that I can take it anywhere. Now see, I can take it. I can make the beautification. I can take it. Now I can replicate it. Now replicate it. Another one. Another one. Another one. My job is over. Now you please do. All of you do please. Have done? Please do this. Please do this. Are you with me? Or should I do again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So please Past do this. Five. Huh. Then all other are for each. Has it been saved or not? How come it has not been saved? Save as desktop is being workshop. Save. Uh, Done. Save. Where it is? Okay. No, no. Saving. I am astonished. Why it not be saved? SBM workshop. Ah, saved now. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Have you done it? All of you? Should I move ahead? Should I move ahead? Yes, sir. All of you have done it. Should I move ahead? Anybody can answer? Uh, sir, Anybody? Sir, I, I, sir, I could not replicate, sir. Yes, sir. Then. Huh, uh, those who are facing problem to replicate. Uh, please select the entire theme of a particular four indicator uh, construct. Everything, including arrow mark, you need to select first. You okay, need to okay, uh, okay, uh, including arrow mark, you need to select everything. Then you go to this uh, Xerox machine uh, symbol. There is a Xerox machine symbol ne uh, nearby to the truck. Nearby to the truck, there is a Xerox machine symbol. It is written duplicate the object. So once you select everything, including the arrow mark, including the error mark, simply you drag and drop. Simply you drag from there and drop somewhere else. Should I do again or you have able to do? All of you, please answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you repeat one second, please? Can you repeat once again? Okay. So I am going to the first hand mark. Look at here. Select one object at a time. 
I'm selecting now. Now look at here, I'm selecting now. Everything I will select. I'm selecting this, then this arrow mark, this arrow mark, this arrow mark, this arrow mark, then all the squares, this, 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 then all the uh, error arrow marks, then all the error circles. Now look at your entire model has been selected. One by one, I have selected the entire model. Now my job is simple. Look, uh, go to this Xerox machine symbol. Uh, when you put your cursor, it will show you duplicate the object. Click there. Duplicate the object, click there. Now you are ready to duplicate. Now simple drag from here, put here. As much as you can get, drag from here, put here. <clears throat> All of you got it? All of you got it? Yes, sir. Uh, those who are saying, uh, uh, please repeat. All of you got it? At least answer. Wait, 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 sir. I think I think one is not selected properly. That's why uh, uh, one error mark uh, error mark has not come. Okay, uh, uh, I am uh, doing it, sir. Uh, so do not worry if one arrow mark is not coming. You do it manually by taking the by selecting that arrow mark. Do not worry by yes, selecting sir. the uh, by selecting this arrow mark. You can do it manually. By chance something is not happening. Then you can do it manually. Do not worry. Done it, okay. all of you? So Done it, all of you? Yes. Yeah. This oh, is tell fine. Me. Can you first explain what is in under these, uh, under the specific things where we have the truck and the duplicate? Can you explain this little bit? A simple procedure. You select everything. Yes, sir. Done, done, sir. No, no. The person who was asking, the candidate who was asking, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, ex sir. I'm explaining to him. You see, you need to select everything of this model, including arrow mark. Got my point, sir? Uh, sir, anybody is asking? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. That's done it? Fine. Can you, can you please explain all these different diagrams here? Oh, diagrams. Huh, huh. I'm, I'm explaining. Nah? See, look at here. These are all four latent variables. These are all four latent variables. One, this is one. I'm sorry. This is one latent variable. This is another latent variable. Please have patience and listen very carefully. This is another latent variable. This is another latent variable. This is another latent variable. Latent variable, you can call it, you can call it as a construct. You can call it as a factor. The first latent variable or construct is made up of five indicators or mm -hmm. five, five items. These five indicators or five items you have measured by the questionnaire with five questions or five items. In your questionnaire, these are all called as five items. While you will take into measurement, they are all called as indicators. So the first construct is measured by five indicators, Yaniki, five questions of your questionnaire, five items of your questionnaire. The second latent variable or construct or factor is measured by four indicators that means four items of your questionnaire likewise the third fourth and fifth constructs has been measured by four variables each four items each or four indicators each now you will ask the question how do you know ki under first construct five variable and under rest of the construct four each from the literature from the existing theory or model. Am I clear till now? Yes. Am I clear till now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So in this particular research, these five constructs are reflecting the effectiveness of buyer-seller interaction. <clears throat> in this research work, it is one of the research work of one of my, uh, my scholar, PhD scholar. So he has measured the buyer-seller interaction effectiveness by five constructs. And these five constructs has been built up of by 25 items. That means questionnaire items. That means 25 uh, variables or 25 indicators. We are using the word indicator frequently in the AMOS. Got it? Now, what I, uh, now, what I need to do, I need to make the name of the factor for the sake of convenience i am naming it look at here i am naming it 
please make a double click on this circle large circle and you will get a pop up box here you will get a pop up box here and you name it name it f1 name it f1 here also make it f1 no problem then uh, the, 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 the remaining on the same pop up box remaining on the same pop up box you click here automatically it will be vacated so make it f2 make it f2 now look at here it is automatically done f2 now make a click on the third circle or oval click on the third oval the moment you click on the third oval automatically it will be blank so name it f3 name it f3 now click on the fourth oval automatically look at here it will be blank this pop up box will be blank name it uh, f4 f4 see automatically it is appearing here f4 now click on the fifth oval it is automatically blank and name it f5 and f5 done this much all of you have done yes this much all of you have done <clears throat> yes sir okay so yes. should i should i proceed now yes sir yes, uh, yes sir. okay okay thank you yes sir so uh, thank you look at here <clears throat> the amos by default understand square size or rectangle means it is observed variable that means you have collected the data and that data collected will be incorporated here the amos understand by default the oval size means either it is a the oval size means either it is a latent variable or it is a error term if oval size is having a arrow mark direction towards somebody else then it is a latent variable if the oval size is directed towards a particular observed variable then it is a error then it is a error so look at my cursor moment the all the above small oval size are the error terms so these are all on observed variables so these latent variables are also on observed variables i have named it likewise the error term also you need to name so you can do it manually as i don't right now as i have done right now but there is a uh, there is a very much facility by the amos go to the plugin because these are all on observed variable you can directly make it and do not fear once you click on the on observed variable the square size will never be filled in because amos understand square size or rectangle means it is observed variable you need to incorporate researcher need to incorporate so do not fear once you fill up the on observed variable by a single click never the square size will be filled up so the above error mark will error oval size will be filled up so go to the plugin uh, all of you please go i am slowly doing go to the plugin go to the name observed on observed variable name on observed variable click there you will see everything will be will be named automatically i am clicking now look at here everything has been named everything has been named look at here e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 e9 dekho all of you have been named up to e21 uh, how many are there uh, save introduction model 16 and 21 five oh 21 uh, i'm sorry so i'm sorry the second one is also another five ah uh, okay 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 let me go let me add another one in the second one Okay, let me add another one in the foot one. Hmm. Let me uh, select. Let me drag and drop somewhere else so that it will be visible to all of you. We'll drag and drop in a clear space so that it will be visible to all of you. Uh, I'm sorry. Are, are. this has not been selected hmm. let me drag and drop her so ha huh. for the sake of visibility i have done this do not worry i have forgotten to add a uh, uh, five uh, fifth variable here i'm sorry so there are 22 <clears throat> there are 22 uh, uh, indicators there are 22 indicators in that same resource why i am doing to the same resource because it will be uh, easily understandable by you that's why i'm doing uh, done 
So look at here. <clears throat> there are uh, uh, 22 indicators or 22 items of the questionnaire. The 22 items of the questionnaire has been treated as 22 indicators. Uh, 22 indicators has been uh, identified with five constructs. Under first construct, there are five variables or five indicators or five items. Under second construct, F2, another five uh, items or uh, indicator. Under third construct, another four set of indicator. Under fourth construct, another four set of indicators or items of your questionnaire. Under uh, uh, factor five or construct five or latent variable five, another four set of indicators. All of you understood this now? Uh, Hat, tell me. Excuse me, can you please show the, where these are in the data files? I'm not getting there. I'm, uh, I'm, I will, unable, uh, yeah, I'm unable to find because you have a user indicated from BS1 to BSI22. Then it uh, came to PSE. So where is this? This is uh, five. Please, so is please, five? please yeah. have the patience. Please have the patience okay. to, to, that, to that point. I have not gone. I'm explaining only figure now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, may I know your name, please? Please, may I know your name, please? I also have your same name, Saroj. Okay, thank you. Okay, so please, uh, please uh, have the patience uh, to your question. I have not proceeded till now. Huh? Okay, okay. So, now, so my question is, why did you select these five here then? No, no, no. I, I have selected to drag and drop simultaneously, nothing else. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, now, our on object variables has been named. Our on observed variables has been named. Four on five on observed variables, Yaniki latent construct, Yaniki construct. We have named it as F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. And 22 another on observed uh, variables or another on observed uh, values. These are all named as E12, E22. E12, E22, these are all errors. Now the remaining are uh, the, the question of. Uh, 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 Mr. Saroj, uh, may I know Mr. Saroj? Yes, sir. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay. So uh, remaining 22 squares meant for the items of your questionnaire that you have collected the data, by which you have collected the data. Now I will go to that step. Till now, everybody is following me. Till now, everybody excuse is following me. Sir. Ah, uh, yes, excuse sir. me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. You added one more, uh, one more this uh, rect rectangle and mm -hmm. error term, but I could not, sir. Uh, simply you select here, you, this this uh, tree-like structure. Look at my cursor moment, you tree-like structure, you can add any time. Yes, sir. Uh, you yes, click sir. here, as much as click you will make, as much as indicator will be added on. Go on, going, go on, added on. Are you getting my point? Oh, okay, sir. Uh, no, no, do not worry. So these are all minor thing. Uh, uh, the more you practice, more you will be convenient. Okay. So now our third job is to incorporate the data that we have collected through questionnaire. Clear? All of you are clear? Are till now all of you followed yes, me? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Now yes, you sir. need to. Now you need to give the input of SPSS data file to Amos. You know, to give the SPSS data file input to the AMOS. How I am giving the input? Look at here. So select the data file. Look at the window like uh, icon. It is written, select the data file. You put your cursor there, it will show you select the data file. Click there. Click there. Are you following all of you? Click yes. there. Are you following all of you? Yes, sir. Click yes, there. Sir. Yes, sir. Now go to the file name. Go to the file name. Click there. Now search your location where you have put the file that you have downloaded yesterday. So the data file, I think data for ASBM workshop. Click there, open. Sir, sir can you please so? Can you please repeat, sir? Uh, then okay. Now my data file has been. Uh, please have the patience. Now my data file has been incorporated to Amos. Again, I am repeating. Go to the icon yes, which is which is written select the data file. Click there. You got it? Icon select data file. Icon where is sir? Select data file. Icon uh, in the is... left, not icon. <laughs> left hand side marks. Left hand side mark. Please look at my cursor moment. Oh. Look at my uh, look at my yes, cursor yes, moment. Yes. Got it? 
all yes, of sir. you all of you please look at my cursor moment then you operate i am saying yes, slowly yes select data file uh, yes select data file then file name uh, file name then locate your data file that you have downloaded and saved locate that where you have saved it locate yes. that click there which oh, it takes time sir click there and then uh, click on open now amos got your location of data file amos got the location of your data file now if you click okay amos has the access to your data file amos has the access to your data file all of you done till now all of you done till now following yes sir, yes, sir. okay oh, okay is to be selected yes, sir, haan. Haan, sir. Haan. Anybody is okay. anybody is asking anything? <clears throat> Data file not responding. Sorry. Anybody else have done till now? Anybody yes, else has done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Saroj is asking something. Please no, ask. I am not asking. We have done it, but it would be we would appreciate, sir, if you could explain. these objects which are on the left hand side of the panel where we have a duplicate data we understood that and the tree what are the others meant for it would be very it would be really helpful to all of us ha gradually gradually yeah. gradually we will know like like right okay. now you know this right now yeah. you know this yeah. uh, yesterday yeah. i explained most of the thing ha huh? okay yeah uh, okay. like like so look at here like this is for observed variable this is for latent variable this is observed plus latent variable this is relationship this is covariance this is uh, error term so the more you practice you will be knowing simply you right, put sir. your see saros simply you put your cursor it will show you what it is like i am right, putting sir. my cursor here it is showing data select the data file clear thank you very much thank you yes okay sir. okay 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 now amos has the access to your data file now where the data are there look at here there are two process see put your cursor here the conjugative uh, the the, the uh, next uh, conjugative uh, icon please put your cursor here what it is showing analysis property put your cursor here what is showing estimate the calculate the estimate so like things like put your cursor here list of variables in the data set look at my cursor moment all of you please put your cursor here list of variables in the data set as because amos has the access to your data file now amos will show you all your data amos will show you no need to go to the spss file now click here please look at my cursor moment click here the moment you put your cursor here it will show you list of variable in your data set is it showing all of you click there see once you click there the amos will show you the data which are there in your uh, spss data file because amos has access to your data file is it showing yes, you yes is it sir yes sir showing you is, yes sir showing sir okay now what you need to do the simplest form okay this is one way another way i am saying go to the uh, plugin i think go to the tool analyze uh, let me ha go to the view another way of showing the data go to the view and go to the uh, icon written variables in the data set click there it will show you there are two way of uh, accessing the data file in the amos there are two these two formal ways so many other ways are there are these two formal ways all of you have accessed all of you have accessed yes 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 sir okay now simple step drag and drop see for the sake of simplicity of your analysis i have serially made it otherwise in the questionnaire the items are not there serially the questionnaire items are not there serially for the sake of your simplicity i have made the serial bsi 1 yani ki buyer seller interaction 1 buyer seller interaction 2 these are all different items of the questionnaire so bs1 to bs5 is coming under f1 so simply what i'll do drag and drop on the box one drag and drop done drag and drop done could do make okay <clears throat> okay sir then drag yes, and sir. drop drag and drop the moment you drag 
it will be a square it will be a oval size or a cross the moment you will touch here it will be highlighted by red unless and until it is highlighted by red you cannot say it is activated once it is highlighted by red then uh, release your click release your click it is coming then drag and drop now amos understood ki bsi 1 bsi 2 bsi 3 bsi 4 bsi 5 is specified by the researcher under the construct f1 amos understood bsi 1 to bsi 5 is specified by the researcher under the construct f1 all of you are following me all of you are following me yes sir all of you are following me okay otherwise what you can do see uh, somehow this uh, this this uh, uh, letters are crossing the uh, border so what i can i can i can resize it i can resize it by going to here 14 or let it be 12 also let it be 12 so likewise you can resize for the beautification by going it make it 12 for the beautification you can make it going to the 12 so that it will be make the font size 12 Please sir, make how did you do sir please repeat this uh double click here in this square double click here and there will be a pop up box go to the font size make it 12 oh. make it 12 done yes sir <clears throat> another way another way of incorporating the data to the model simply write the exact thing what you have written in your data file simply write the exact thing what you have written in your data file exact no disturbance so look at here instead of drag and drop for the sake of my convenience what i am doing i am writing here look at here i am double click it i am writing here i am writing here tell okay i am writing here what is supposed to be put here a bsi 6 is supposed to put here so i am writing bsi 6 what is the wrong with it Now look at here BSI six exactly what you have written uh, in the data file uh, capital letter BSI six capital letter BSI six done BSI six now here also BSI six for my convenience I will write this so that I can do accordingly as my wish instead of drag and drop so likewise everywhere you can write likewise everywhere you can write BSI seven BSI seven BSI Seven, likewise. Sorry, uh, this need to be ten. Okay, likewise, uh, this need to be uh, BSI eight, BSI eight, BSI eight. Here also BSI eight. Both the variables are names. BSI uh, eight. Likewise, here I default it is coming eighteen font size. So you need to resize it. Do not worry. So BSI nine. Uh, here also. BSI nine, and likewise here uh, it is BSI ten. BSI ten, BSI ten, here also BSI ten, BSI ten. All of you followed this? <coughs> All of you followed this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you followed this? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. so <clears throat> likewise bsi 11 to 11 12 13 14 you incorporate there bsi 11 uh, bsi 12 incorporate there bsi 13 bsi 14 incorporate there and uh, you can resize it for the sake of your convenience you can resize it for the sake of your convenience because it is crossing the border of this square size you can resize it no problem you can resize it uh, provided you it is visible to you so bsi 14 clear so likewise bsi 15 i am dragging and drop both of the uh, way i have told you i'm sorry i'm sorry okay bsi 15 chala gaya na ha bsi 16 bsi 16 BSI seventeen, BSI eighteen, done. 
fourth construct f4 have done fourth construct done so let me resize it let me resize it so that it will be visible clearly without crossing the boundary let me resize it let me resize it so that it is visible done then uh, bsi 19 drag and drop bsi 19 here bsi 20 here bsi 21 here bsi 22 here bsi 22 here let me resize it let me resize it so that it will be clearly visible to me and without crossing the border so that the model will be clearly visible otherwise there is no problem there is no sense of analysis with this uh, resizing the resizing is only meant for beautification of the model nothing else so now up to this all of you have done <coughs> up to this all of you have done please do it yes sir up to yes, this sir. all of you have done up to this all of you have done yes any, yes any yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. yes sir yes sir now the model is ready to be analyzed that means the data of spss file has been successfully incorporated to the amos model amos has access to your data the data has been recognized and accessed by amos model now <clears throat> for the sake of knowing the reliability and validity all the five construct need to be covariate all the five construct need to be covariate otherwise reliability validity testing in the amos cannot be done please remember so how you will covariate look at here manually you need to covariate this is the this is the diagram please look at my cursor movement this is the covariate draw the covariate you can do manually look at here double headed arrow mark covariate look covariate covariate and covariate unfortunately it is uh, up and down so it is not showing clearly let me show it clearly so that uh, give me one minute so that give me one minute so that it will be shown clearly uh, give me one minute all of you please stay in touch give me one minute let me show it clearly so that you can visible how it is covariating covariating the model is very important to access the reliability and validity just right now i am covariating but reliability validity test we will do later on do not worry so reliability validity test we can do later on uh okay so what i need to do is uh, now covariation can be made easily now Uh, another way thing soroj you are talking about uh, uh, you are talking about how to uh, know all other things please look at here instead of selecting you can directly click please look at here all of you please look at here another easiest way there is a tree like structure preserve the symmetry click there first preserve the symmetry click there first then click on the truck move the object now without selecting also you can move anywhere look at here without selecting also move anywhere done yes ha ah, now before selecting truck which symbol you selected which symbol you choose uh, this is this is look at my cursor movement preserve okay, symmetry okay. preserve symmetry okay okay sir ha ah, ah. ha so <clears throat> now i need to covariate uh, manually let's see are how come it is not happening similarly okay let it be no problem let it be no problem because the calculation need to be we can take the can we move the curve down is it possible uh, no. Uh, no if you if you if you resize it if you resize it it will be uh, moved down that means resize means it you will drag and drop here uh, it may be possible i think uh, if okay 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 let me do your experiment we will try sir can we move the diagram upside down so ah, so we, we can do we can do we can do how we can do let me rotate if it can preserve let me rotate do not worry have patience let me rotate move rotation change rotate uh, if it is happening then it is good let me rotate ah uh, 
then uh, let me drag and drop everything i think now it will be preserved in this way still there is no space still there is no space Sir, can we do it by doing it portraying uh, uh, let please hold on hold on one second one second let me do another thing let me do another thing rotate uh, rotate 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 then drag and drop here drag and drop here drag and drop here drag and drop here let me see in this experiment if you can do in this experiment if you can do now let me cover it another way of cover it is look at here you will select no need to do manually you will select all the latent constructs go to the plugin and click on covariate uh, where is that uh, draw covariances ha ho gaya now do it draw covariances <clears throat> please do it all of you please do it all of you okay we have to rotate it Every one by one everybody is following you can do it manually by this double headed arrow mark uh, instead of doing manually because it will take more time you select the latent variable only you select the latent variable f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 only these five uh, oval you select only only the five oval you select then go to the plugin then click on draw covariance automatically everything will happen everybody is following or should i do again <coughs> Everybody is following. Done. So once again, please do it again. So once again. Okay, okay. Let me cut fast. <laughs> okay, let me cut so that I can do it once again. Uh... Oh, now you are here. All of you are here. All of you are here. Yes, sir. Ha, yes, now sir. You, yes, sir. Now, now you select uh, one by one. Only this F1 I have selected. Once you select, the, this will be highlighted by blue mark. Select the F2 only. Select the F3 only. Select the F4 only. Select the F5 only. You have selected all now? Selected? All of you have selected? Yes, sir. F, uh, now you go to the plugin. Go to the plugin. All of you, please go to the plugin. Go to the plugin. Click on draw covariance. The, uh, the, the second or third or fourth in your case, there will be a draw covariance. Click on there. Automatically, it will happen. Done. <clears throat> Done. Click on there. Automatically, it will happen. Done. Everybody is following? Yes. Everybody yes, is following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. But. But sir, uh, in my case, uh, so many, so many li lines have been drawn, sir. Uh, okay, uh, let me <laughs> stop. Okay, please, please, please have patience. Uh, let me stop sharing so that you can share. Please, you share. Let me stop sharing. Okay. Uh, uh, please share. Uh, anybody from the organizing, uh, allow him to share so that everybody can see what is the problem happening to him. Please share your screen. Anybody from the organizing, uh, please allow him to share. Please share. May I know your name, please? Who is facing the problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bapun Kolita. Bapun? Yes, sir. Bapun. Okay, okay. okay, Bapun, please share your screen. Please share your screen. Yes, Anybody but, from the... Uh, uh, but any... it, is not, yeah, it is not allowed, till, sir. Uh, I think organizers are not there. Anybody from the organizing? Anybody sir, from the organizing? Yes. Okay, let, uh, let me try, sir. Let me try. Uh, please allow the Bapan. Please allow Bapan to share the share the screen. Okay, so okay, that, sir. Uh, so that everybody can see what problem he is facing. Uh, excuse me, sir. Meanwhile, uh, yes. uh, he is working with that. Uh, tell me. The side of the diagram which we have drawn is the your your voice is not audible. Tell me again. Your voice is not audible. Huh? Tell me. Uh, please I repeat. I wanted to know if 
i can oh. uh, resize the entire diagram which i have drawn means each construct and variable so i think it is visible yes yes is this visible now no till now it is not coming uh, please so please share your screen i think you have successfully shared but no not visible ha now it is visible <laughs> are acha 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 what you have done uh, i got your point please see all of you what he has done he has selected everything he has selected the error terms also bapan bapan i said yes, you sir. i said you to select only the f1 only f2 only f3 no other error term you have selected the error terms also yeah yeah sir yes yes sir i selected everything ah only latent construct you select only latent construct only okay okay sir only sir how how do i select only latent construct sir simply ha, by only, clicking ha take one by one uh, go to the left hand side uh, hand mark it is okay, showing okay. Uh, yes. it is showing oh. it is showing select one object at a time it is showing okay. yeah. everything and then thank you very much sir ha 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 okay okay uh, please uh, please make okay. yourself disconnect from here so that i can share my screen please make okay, yourself sir. disconnect please, please stop sharing okay yes sir yes sir done sir okay okay ha okay. huh, madam was asking something ha uh, yes sir i was huh. asking uh, whatever things we have drawn the huh. part diagram whatever is drawn on the screen Uh, uh, so as we are having five constructs here so uh, uh, if how can we resize them means mine which i have drawn is very larger in size it's difficult uh, to accommodate them in a single line so can how you resize them... uh, i got your point uh, resize look at here there is a uh, uh, there is a icon change the shape of the object look at my cursor movement uh, my my screen is visible to all uh, yes sir yes okay, sir okay okay uh, look at my yes, cursor sir. movement uh look at my cursor movement is written change the shape of the object you click there and reset as much as you can reset done reset are you doing yes, madam sir, yes sir. Th yeah yeah thank you understood thank you sir okay 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 so now <clears throat> the the amos is ready to let me deselect so that it will be okay uh let me deselect then make the beautification make the beautification and done the beautification now now amos is ready for analysis of cfa amos is ready for analysis of excuse cfa excuse me sir yes Tell uh, me. sir i have a question uh, uh, sir here all the error terms are written haphazardly so is there any problem no 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 problem at all no pro for the sake of uh, sequence i am writing one my uh, uh, e1 e2 e3 no problem at all uh, only problem you will face yes. only problem you will face while i will saying you the modification indices in the next session do not worry modification oh. indices because in the modification indices in to search that will be a problem otherwise for the yes, analysis sir. otherwise for the analysis result it will not hamper anything for the analysis okay. result for the analysis result it will not hamper anything at all so do not worry clear okay sir clear? thank you sir so so amos is ready to analysis now what need to be analyzed you need to give instruction to the amos now look at this cursor look at this but my cursor movement and look at this icon it is written analyze property analysis property click there please look at my cursor movement all of you and put your cursor here aro mark here and it is written analysis property click there such like pop up box will appear automatically click there all of you have done <clears throat> yes sir ha uh, so what you require go to the output aapko kya chahiye go to the output go to the output click there output now i need standardized estimate i need square multiple correlation i need sample movement i need all implied movement i need modification indices uh, nothing else i need uh, factor score weightage uh, direct indirect is not required till now still i am correlating i need correlation bas then test of normality or outlier is not required lateral i will i will show you do not worry 
so click all these things or anything you click only standardized estimate you click for right now it will be okay also anything you click that much of output the amos will give you anything you click that much of output the amos will give you all of you have clicked all of you have checked yes sir okay close this now amos understood now amos understood what you require now amos understood what you require now close it now the next icon you please move please look, look at my cursor movement next icon please look at here what is this then calculate the estimate the same thing is written in the analyze also look at analyze go to the analysis go to the analysis calculate the estimate there are two option to calculate the estimate yani ki to run the cfa now we are ready to run the cfa please understand have the focus now we are ready to run the cfa there are two process same same but two different way go to the analysis go to the calculate estimate or go to this icon directly so i am going to the analysis going to the calculate estimate now click there estimation is running estimation is over see if you manually do this one month will take now by one second over estimation is over my estimation cfa is over all of you are done if your cfa will be over this uh, figures will appear look at my cursor movement these figures will appear these figures will appear look at my cursor movement these figures sir, will appear sir, uh, sir uh, while me. while clicking calculate estimate then uh, it, it shows uh, to save it i think uh, that means it you have not shows... saved uh, that means you have not saved please okay. save please save it please save it uh, in any folder uh, in the workshop folder you save it so that it will be convenient to access tomorrow in the uh, workshop folder you save it so that it will be convenient to access tomorrow please save it in the workshop folder please save it all of you yes, save sir. it i have saved it earlier so it is not showing so it will show you all of you have done okay, till now sir. all of you have done till now dancer dancer friends madam all of you have done till now any two three person yes, i think are i think yes sir I, yes sir done sir I am yes, I am in I am in confusion whether uh, people are uh, alive with me or sleeping. <laughs> no sir, no sir. No sir. No, sir. I, 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 they are doing sir. Okay, okay, okay. Because it is very huge time to go for a rest. That is the reason I am I am in doubt whether <laughs> only for the sake of certificate somebody is coming. Anyway, let it be. <clears throat> so at least those who are listening and responding frequently, they should answer. Uh, done it till now. so those who have Dancer. successfully ha huh, those who have successfully done it look at the above two arrow marks one is it in green one it is in uh, uh, red the red arrow mark will be automatically highlighted activated have you seen look at my cursor movement yes sir. this this yes, sir. Op, yes, sir. this this upward arrow mark will be highlighted automatically highlighted all of you anybody is facing yes, problem sir. please ha huh. now yes, click sir, there ha uh, click there automatically the वैल्यूज विल अपीयर टू यू सी क्लिक देयर ऑटोमेटिकली द वैल्यूज विल अपीयर क्लिक देयर ऑटोमेटिकली द वैल्यूज विल अपीयर वैल्यूज अपीयरिंग या आदर यस सर यस सर हां एनीबॉडी इज फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम एनीबॉडी इज फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम वैल्यूज आर अपीयरिंग ओके नाउ लुक एट हियर यस सर दैट दैट रेड एरो हैज येट नॉट हाइलाइटेड I think uh, I missed some part. Ha, uh, you have missed some part. Or, or sir, sometimes it takes time, sir. No, it will not take time. Uh, maximum uh, three, four second, five second, nothing else. <clears throat> five second. Okay. Anyway, uh, because of time shortage, those who have done successfully, I am explaining them some other operations. Look at here. The values are uh, uh, clumsy. in order to move the value look at here look at this move the parameter value uh, please look at my please look at my cursor movement click there and you can resize automatically look at a highlighted red mark i can resize my values very uh, conveniently according to me now look at my now look at this i am i am highlighting sorry the automatically the particular value will be highlighted and you can move anywhere now see everything has been clearly defined 
now i have highlighted here sorry i have moved here anywhere you can move uh, i have moved here moved here uh, likewise you can move this is another operation so now these are all operation part what is the meaning <clears throat> look at here point 38 that means the covariance value of f1 to f5 is 38 percent point 37 that means the covariance value between f1 to f4 is 37 percent 37 percent likewise coming to here look at here coming to here the bsi 15 sorry bsi 5 look at here look at here all of you the bsi 5 is loaded on factor 1 by 97 percent very beautiful result has come bsi 4 loaded on the f1 construct f1 by 95 percent 0.95 bsi 13 is loaded on the uh, factor 1 is by 94 percent bsi 2 bsi 2 is loaded on the factor 1 f1 construct 1 latent variable one jo bhi bolo by 91% and this is the constraint this is the constraint automatically amos will take one particular regression weight what these are you can say factor loading you can say regression weight because regression equation is performed because regression equation is performed this value are uh, factor loading you can call it as or you can call it as regression weight by default amos will take one relationship of one uh, measurement model as one so that other can vary with respect to one so look at here amos has taken this is one and look at here this is one look at here this is one look at here this is one this is one in every uh, construct one relationship amos will take as regression weight one so that others will vary with respect to one so these are all regression weights sir uh, can you uh, sir can you please repeat uh, this loading ha huh, this I'm 97 saying, yeah 97% huh. loading look at here look at here look at my cursor movement this is 97% i am moving that yes sir yes uh, sir b, the, the the variable or the item or the indicator bsi 5 bsi 5 ek yes, indicator sir. ka naam hai The BSI pipe is loaded on construct one by ninety-seven percent. The BSI four is loaded on that is factor loading, yar regression weight or factor loading, whatever you can say, is loaded on the okay, factor okay, okay. uh, on the that variable. Can as, say, yeah, can uh, we sir, sir? Can we can we say it like BSI five hmm. has ninety-seven percent load on F one? Ah uh, yes, you can say it. You can say. Yes, factor. I think that will. Ha ha yes yeah. that is factor loading or regression weight anything you can say regression weight or factor loading all of you clear <coughs> sir what uh, does it mean 1.09 where it is written more than 1 where it is written 1.09 f2 i think f2 ha ha yes it is yes i7 ha ha yes right question you have asked it is also factor loading but these are all on standardized value that is the reason it is showing more than one otherwise it should not say more than one now go to the standardized yes, value sir. look at uh, now look at the standardized value look at my cursor movement here automatically amos has taken by default on standardized estimate mm -hmm. now go to the standardized estimate click on the standardized estimate click on the standardized estimate automatically the value will be changed look at here click on the uh, now now look at here automatically everything has been changed <coughs> now these are all standardized estimate clear yes sir now 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 your question is clear <coughs> yes, sir. Is, uh, now your question is clear it is not showing more than one ha huh? yes sir ha uh, so by default amos will take on standardized estimate you click on standardized estimate so that so that it will show you ha huh? so i think uh, i think i think today up to this much because most of the people have left the platform uh, it is a high time for their dinner or tea or something like i should not get others bored uh, last question if you have any uh, doubt you can ask last question
so that uh, sir, uh, like, uh, one happen. yeah one uh, thing sir sir hmm. in one of the in this platform uh, somewhere it uh, at the bottom it is written chi square equals to 350.6 I will I will yeah. explain it tomorrow. I will explain it tomorrow. Do not worry. Do not worry. These are all okay. these are all these are all model <clears throat> mo, model fitting indices. What I said model fitting indices. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Hello. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Tell me. Sir, uh, tell should me. we consider that standard value should be one in this case? No, no. It has been estimated. How you will consider this? It has been estimated. Okay, it is estimated that means maximum value is one. Ah, yes, standardized value maximum one. On standardized can be cross okay. more than one. Okay, uh, sir. On, on standardized can okay. be more than one. Ah, okay. Okay. So, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you all. Uh, do not worry. The chi square and other value I will show you tomorrow. Uh, uh, because these are all indicating the goodness of fit fit indices. How much my model is fitting to the data? This will be covered okay. tomorrow. This will be covered okay, tomorrow. Sir. How much the model is fitting to my data? It will cover tomorrow. Do not worry. Clear? Clear, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you thank all. You, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, over to the thank organizer. You, thank you. Over to okay, the organizer. Over thank to you, the organizer. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, uh, tomorrow we will have uh, four to six. Ha! Uh, tomorrow the same. Uh, the the pre previous time four to six. Four to six. Tomorrow the previous okay, time sir. four to six. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.